Well, thank you very much for giving um, Reefy as fuck a little to your tank, Beth. If you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got into the hobby and your, your journey until now. Uh, sure. Well, as you've already told everybody, my name's Beth. Um, gosh, it's always a tough one introducing yourself. You know, what do you, what do you say about yourself? Um, obviously, I, uh, I'm loving the saltwater hobby. Um I also, I have to give, I love my dogs too, but, but the tank is, the tank is probably, uh, probably my number one therapy. Um, so kind of what, uh, what got me into this actually, um, I used to work at a local fish store, um, actually owned by, by Kevin, who's in here right now. And, um, I loved all animals really, but fish were always, I had a soft spot for the, for the tanks and the aquariums. I loved cleaning them. You know, I loved watching them. Um, so I had kind of dabbled in a couple of my own tanks outside of the, you know, working at the fish store and, um, and then took a, took a quite a long break actually. Um, it just kind of wasn't in my, in my life plans, you know, after that. And I had, a, I had a kid and, you know, world turns. So here I am. Um, I'm thinking, gosh, so my son is 14 now. So probably about 15, 15 16 years out of it. And now I'm back in it. Um, couldn't start out small. I decided to go big. <laughs> uh, started out actually with a uh, 90 gallon. I had that for gosh, not even a year. And I was like, yeah, this is just isn't big enough. So um, here I am jumped from a 90 to a 210. Um, and so this one's been running now for so November 30th is when we picked it up. So just over a year, I think it is either either coming up on a year, or just over a year, I have to look back. Um, so yeah, everything's everything's doing good. Um, you said you were out of the hobby for fifteen years. Can you just yeah. describe how different the hobby is in that time gap? I mean, fifteen years—the technology must have been insane. Uh, yeah, I had gosh, and don't, I can't even, of course, recall the name of the, but the, I had like black box light, you know, that like laid across my fifty-five gallon. Um, I don't even, I don't even remember what it was called. I had a canister filter, uh, which, you know, I realize those are still around, but, um, just not as popular, uh, from what I see, but, um, yeah. So it's changed a lot, a lot. Um, in, in a good way. I mean, yeah, it, but yes, definite, definite changes from, from then until now, okay. um, in you know price wise too, and I I was like, oh my oh, god, yeah. you know, okay. uh, wait, how much? <laughs> so um, depends yeah. on the shop though. I mean, some LFS yeah. rip you right off. Yeah, right, right. L luckily, mine does not. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually bought both the ninety gallon and the two ten from um, from Kevin, the one that I uh, kind of got me into this journey when, when I worked for him. Um, he's now relocated and and has still has a um, you know a fish store, um, and so I, I bought both of the tanks from him and um, you know get coral from him and then coral from Zach, and so um, I'm pretty fortunate to you know to have to have that relationship with, with the people that are supplying me with, you know, uh, all the things I need for this, this hobby. A good LFS is worth its yes. weight in gold. It completely changed right. for me when I first started. Um, I, I, I only started out getting advice from friends and it turns out they were shit at keeping fish. Yeah. So, you know, on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, I only start. 
I only started the store because Kevin was so far away. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, I, so I, for the longest time, uh, you know, I'm always like, I tend to migrate to Zach because he, he seems closer to me, but I was talking to Kevin and we actually did the math and it's really only mile wise. It's a little more, but time wise, it's like less than 15 minutes. It just does. It just seems farther away. But, but for the people who are in Petoskey, yeah, it's another 45 minutes. So it's like two hours total. Mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, it works out. I mean, <clears throat> it works out perfect. Well, do you want to so, tell us a wee bit about your tank, the size, who it's made by, et cetera? Yeah. So like, as I said before, 210 gallon, um, the, the display tank, it, uh, dimensions on that are 24 inches deep, uh, see 72 inches long and the worst part 29 inches deep or down from the top to bottom uh which that is the only thing i i dislike about this tank is it's so deep so trying to you know get to the bottom is a pain in the ass that is more um, yeah yeah so um luckily i don't feel like i really need to you know, there's not really many times where I'm like needing to get down to the bottom, but occasionally, occasionally, and I'm sure there will be other times where I need to, to do that. Um, so it is made by, and I'm probably slaying this, but, uh, Aquian, Aquian. So it's got, okay. uh, yeah, so it's got, um, two okay. overflows on the back. Um, oh, yeah, it's uh, a, it's a, uh, a rimmed. A Flip that What's that? that phone around. Flip that phone around. She was that fucker. Yeah, let me uh one sec. <laughs> Subtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here, here it is. Let me turn this back light off because it reflects in the glass here. Sorry, make everybody dizzy. <laughs> All right, so. So here is the tank with all of the critters. That is a deep tank. It is. Yeah. It's, uh, like I said, 29 inches, 29 inches tall. So it's, uh, it's a reach to the bottom. It's all, all I've got to get to reach to the bottom. Um, but you know, it's worked out. It's, it's not horrible. Um, I make it work. I've got a nice big ladder that I just, you know, I get, I just got to stand on the top, the top step. <laughs> um, but yeah, I fit in it. I, I did get in it uh, before I sold it up <laughs> and laid down in it, which was fun. Uh, yeah. So, so what, what lights you run in there? Is that AI Hydras? Yeah. So those are 64s, um, Hydra 64s. There's three of them up there. And uh, I I like the lights. Um, you know, I don't really have anything bad to say about them. They seem to seem to do the job. Um, I like the rack they're on. Is that an AI rack? Yeah. Yep. Yep. The rail is nice. The yeah. rail. Yep. The That's rail system is real nice. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I I need to uh, I really would love to get um so my husband built the stand backstory so let me let me get this other light on here so um <clears throat> so he built the stand and so now I got to try to get him to um to build a um box to go around a hood to go around my lights because the spill look, wouldn't, you know, we're in the living room. So TV's there, you know, so we're sitting on the couch behind me and we're watching TV. The lights just spill out, you know, and uh, it's just right in your eyes. So I really, that's my goal is to, um, to build a hood, get him to build a hood for the, for the lights so that that doesn't happen. But, um, but yeah. That sounds uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, when How I are the lights off of the uh, off of the water, they are. <laughs> we measured that. I'm trying to. Gosh, I want to say like 16 inches. 
15, 16 inches, I can I can measure it. Sounds reasonable. I think, yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Please, please don't uh, measure and tape out things normally. Go really, really. No. <laughs> of course, seriously. Oh, okay. All right, all right, fine, fine. <laughs> I'll leave that one alone just for you. <laughs> I don't have that problem. The measuring tape doesn't scare me. It's it's you guys. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're not that scary. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. So. A grower, not a shower. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see here. So um, as far as so I've got two, um, as far as equipment goes, I got two uh, MP40s here, one on each end. That one's in the back. The other one's in the front. Um, I've got a Nero. Uh, let's see. That's a Nero. Uh, is that a three or five? I think it's a three because it came out of my uh my smaller saltwater tank that I had. Um, and then I've got two uh 4K gyres on each end here. Um, as you can see, I get some pretty good flow. My torches are loving it. Um, let's see here. I think that's it for here out here. Do we uh do we want to go under? Yes. You've got a lot of uh, a lot of fish. Yeah. Look at that blonde. Yeah. Did you see him yawn? Yeah. He does that often. He's I was listening to us. He is uh Yeah. <laughs> All right. So down we go. Let's see here. Take this off. So under the hood here. Well, let's see. Let's start with the uh stump here. So we've got a Got a bash C um forty-eight inch stump down here. I guess it's called the signature series. Um so I just got first chamber over here after the filter stacks. I've just got some live rock, some bags of media. I've got a sponge filter in there, ready to go in case I need to set up a hospital tank. Um got my dosers over here. Um, I'm currently only dosing um, alkalinity and calcium. Um, the amino I, I was dosing, but I've I've stopped since. Um, are those vents on the back wall? They are. They're plastic vents, and I painted them. That is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Got uh, three of them back there. This sump I have is to, turning me I on. Have, <laughs> it's I such have a to, nice sump. I have to, like I said, I have to give my husband like a lot of credit for this, the stand. I mean, the ideas were mostly mine just because I, I mean, I had the vision, I had the knowledge, but he had the skill. So, um, but this, this was his creation really. Um, and as well as all the plumbing he did. <laughs> um, so anyway, so then we've come to this chamber here and I've got my Aquamax, uh, skimmer in here. Um, so I've got two, uh, two heaters, titanium heaters, uh, one in this section back there and then one down here. Um, and those are controlled by, um, th through my Hydros and, um, Inkbird controller. Uh, let's see here. I've got a little pump in there and that, uh, this is for my Heather reactor that I will run, uh, Rofoss in occasionally. Um, and then my return pump chamber, which I am running a, a CJ Puffy. That is the not was that the nine point I believe. Um, yeah, nine. I think it's the nine point And then you got the uh, ATO, the matching uh, Bash C ten gallon ATO here. Um, reactor here. Uh, got my, uh, UV, um, here. Let's see here. There's, there's the upper, the upper side. It kind of really got a, that what's that? There. Really crammed that in there. I had to. Yeah. So that the skimmer or the, um, the UV sterilizer was like a kind of a, uh, afterthought actually, unfortunately. So we, so we had, um, not left a, 
a shit ton of room for additions. Um, and so the sterilizer came and we're like, oh shit, where's this going to go? <laughs> which is, which is kind of why that is just sitting there. Um, I just, I just haven't found a good place to, to mount it. So, um, yeah, so the sterilizer is up in there. Um, and we had to use the flexible tubing because there was just no way we were going to be able to do it with PVC. So, um, and then over here, same thing with the, uh, the, the flow meter, that was, a an, an add-on as well. Um, once, cause I believe those came out after, um, after I set all this up. So, so yeah, um. Any questions? Did I miss anything? And see the part of the UV that's on the bottom of the cabinet. There is that just the ballast? Yeah. Uh. Yes. Ah. Right. I've I've never seen. I, th I thought it was just a tiny, tiny little ultraviolet sterilizer. Uh, so that's uh, the ballast. Okay. Uh, no. 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 It's the yeah. ballast, but tra transformer, or what? Whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's quite cool the way it's all like totally waterproofed at the ends there with the the grommets and stuff. Alexa, good morning. Yeah, yeah, yep. So, um, yeah. I'm and curious then about that bracket that's holding the UV sterilizer up. Did you 3D print that or buy that? Uh so actually, let me hold on. I gotta go in here and look because it's. So actually, the bracket that you speak of. Let me let me get up in there. I think. Get up in there. Yeah, I gotta get up in there. Get my fingers up in there. Easy enough. <laughs> <there. laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't think so. There is no bracket actually, Zach. So it oh, is uh, straight. So it is straight up zip ties on eye hooks. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like you got bracket. like uh yeah no. Sorry for so calling you out zip tie here uh yeah I'm not, I'm not that creative i told you i'm not i'm not crafty my husband is <laughs> hey one um, one well-placed zip tie solves everything exactly mm -hmm. see i mean so well you didn't even you couldn't even tell <laughs> um let's see here let me go back down here open this end here um so here are the dosing reservoirs i've got my uh i dose um it's the e ESB uh, two parts, um, alkalinity, and then calcium, which for the longest time, I never had to dose calcium. Like it, it just would replenish my, I mean, water changes was keeping my calcium right around four, 440 to 460. Um, and just recently I sent in my ICP uh, test and my calcium was low. So now I... I'm starting to slowly, slowly dose some calcium every day. Um, so yeah, so there is those. And then this neat little thing, uh, trying to remember whose idea this was. Uh, it was a buddy of mine. Uh, someone recommended it. God, I can't remember who. So we've got this, um, PVC. It's like waterproof. Uh, actually, was it you, Zach? Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is, this has been nice because I have uh we have overflowed the ATO when filling, and so this is a uh, waterproof uh, uh P well, PVC board, um so that it when it spills it doesn't uh it doesn't wreck the stand the inner part of the stand so this whole thing is lined with this PVC um board, um which I'm pretty happy about <laughs> um. You're and then, of course, rocking a nice little juicy label machine. I mean, I see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, um, I love labeling everything. I am I, obsessed uh, with it. In fact, I ran out yeah. one day, had to change the color, had to buy another roll to make sure everything matched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes. I've got like three rolls on hand just in case, just in case. And do you? Uh, do you have a 3D printer where you did those brackets yourself or? So actually I do, I do have a 3D printer. I'm trying to remember if I printed the, so I've printed some stuff and then I've had some friends print some stuff for me. Um, did I print those brackets? I want to say I did print those brackets. Those are cool. 
there's what's yeah. nice there that match everything is so matching that's and that's, so you. that's yes that exactly that's part of my ocd like i'm a match i gotta match everything has to match <laughs> no, but it's, it's good having the black and the gray too because it's not like just only red like some people right. go way overboard with it where it looks like you know a paint can just exploded exactly yep. yeah yeah i didn't i didn't want that that's just you know um but yeah i do i do like to coordinate the colors and you know the labeling thing kind of sometimes i get in my own way but you know it all turns out and uh it, it, it works out um so yeah anything i think i covered everything in here um i had to step away for a few minutes did you sure. cover the uv yet if so yes. i'll just watch it on the video later i did okay. yeah i did um i the only thing i didn't cover so it is a i'm trying to remember what size it is um gosh i I don't recall what size it is, but there, for reference, it's. I think you got the 57 watt. Was it the 57 watt? That sounds about right. Yeah, I think you're correct, Zach. Um, so, oh, and I, uh, I will be, I will be adding, so these are going to be going bye-bye, and I am going to be adding a Red Sea uh, reef mat here soon. Ooh. I I just, uh, my, my job, I own a residential cleaning company and in the summertime, I have no time to keep up with changing filter socks every three days, four days, you know? So, uh, that's going to save me. You will absolutely love it and be like, what I the hope so. fuck was I doing with socks until now? Well, so I'll tell you, I, the reason I, I went this route of, uh, initially was, um, so after I started my system, uh, Bashley came up with a sump that had it built in. <laughs> so they didn't have that at the time when I purchased mine. Um, mm. and, and I wanted, so the trigger sump just wasn't big enough for me. Um, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> uh, so I, it just wasn't big <laughs> enough for me. So for what I wanted or what I needed. So yeah, I it, decided. This to... is recorded and that will get <laughs> isolated and made like a drop on the discord later. Perfect. <laughs> 100%. Um, all right. Awesome. Good, 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 good. That's what she said. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See. Um, so, yeah. So that is part of <laughs> uh, that is that is kind of a big part of why I didn't go with it initially. It was a big debate. I when I went back and forth. Um I'm like, oh no, nah, I can do it. I can keep up with it. No problem. You know, so I just I just did it. And I fully regret it. So I'm gonna fix that. Um yeah. So that's pretty much the underside of the, the tank here. Um any questions oh. for anybody? I have a couple uh, questions. Sure. And I don't I don't want to put you on the spot, but but you're you gonna. are you are fully loaded with gear. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like curious what made you decide you wanted a UV and what made you decide or what got you to start a little reactor for FOS R S yep. or whatever that shit's called. Like yeah, why robust, did you go those yeah. routes? So, um, okay, so first I'll start with the sterilizer. Um, so some of it was peer pressure, guarantee it, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> no, uh, really, so I, um, when I started um, getting, putting fish in my system, um, I, uh, I was quarantining. I had set up a hospital or a, a tank to, you know, dose copper. And so I was being really, really good about that. And so um, then somewhere along the way, I ended up getting ick anyways. So I said, fuck it. I'm not quarantining anymore. It's a waste of my time. I'm just going to, you know, put them in and I'll just get a sterilizer. I will just live with it. I'll maintain it and I'll just deal with it. Um, so it was that was kind of my that was kind of my uh, deciding factor um, was for, for that. Um, and then of course I love the, the water clarity is amazing. Um, so it, it was just in my eyes, it, it seemed like the, the right decision for me for what I was trying to obtain. 
Um, and so you, then you the, saw a difference in water clarity after installing it then? I definitely did. Yeah, same here. Definitely yeah. did. I, I wouldn't go with that. I mean, I know not everyone's a fan, but... Yeah, right. Any, any tank I've had them on, I've immediately thought, why didn't I do this sooner? Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. And I just wanted to try to avoid, you know, any kind of, um, you know, the algae. I just thought that it would help. And um, obviously, I still get algae. That's not, it's not going to just like magically take it all away, but it does make a difference. Um, and I think paired with, you know, the reef mat, is, I think it's going to be even better. I'm hoping. <laughs> Like, what does everyone say the downside to the UV is? That you kill the bacteria that's free-floating? Yeah, what's, that's good. What's the ratio of free-floating versus to what's actually in the rock and on the all the, all the surfaces? Like, how much right. actually goes through the UV? Or is actually killed through the UV if some still make it through? It's got to, right? Well, I think it depends on the water flow and everything, right? How much time is it, it's in the UV versus... Yeah, it's Con very hard to say. a massive part of it. Yeah, absolutely. it's absolutely useless if the flow's too fast. Yeah, yeah. I like to have a new VM my tank, but when mine went down, I just never got a new one. But all the same things. Like I don't think I had disease, but I had that uh, <laughs> that white, like white, like like kind of like cloudy patch on a couple on one tang that is harmless but uh, um, like a, a fungal or a bacterial uh no I, I can't remember what it's called but it's on it humble fish L. starts with a p p oh. i think but uh but it got me nervous i got the uv and the water cleared up and i don't have algae yeah, but the glass glass stayed cleaner longer and i like i like to have an uv i i agree yeah you know, I also, um, you know, the UV did uh, drastically help. Like I, you know, I stopped seeing any kind of signs of it on the fish. Um, not like a hundred percent, but a, a lot less than it ha I had previously. Um, and of course it was only on certain fish. Obviously the tangs were number one. They always had spots. Um, but I had it, um, I was feeding, you know, typical frozen slurry of you know mysis brine shrimp i was feeding like rods food i was feeding this um you know just a bunch of different frozen uh, stuff to them and i ran into uh, a bacterial issue um in my tank and not so much with the fish but my corals and just so so anyways i i ended up uh switching i stopped uh you know just doing some reading i i stopped uh feeding frozen food altogether I, I my fish do not get any frozen food at all anymore and since then i uh switched to pellets and um some uh nori flakes um and i have noticed um drastic color changes in the fish um literally i have not seen one spot on any fish in months and uh so that kind of um you know made me super happy i was you know i was like okay so this you know the uv sterilizer helped and um and they were doing you know looking healthier and and then i changed the feeding and between those two uh, zero spots zero so everybody has been doing amazing. Um, Looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, everybody's everybody's happy. Everybody Dude, is your, happy. Uh, your fish have grown very freaking I fast. I know, <laughs> I know that my blue tang. I'm like, oh, he's he's huge. He's definitely the mean the mean girl in the tank. And so can you guys see his fin right there? So how it's folded over. Oh, curled? See? Yeah. Yeah. Like only that one side is doing it. it. It's been like that for a long, long time. But the other side is flat. It's weird. Hmm. Really weird. They yeah. want fed. They want fed that. again. <laughs> um, yeah. So 
but it, he still functioned absolutely fine. Nothing. I mean, doesn't change change his functionality, but it's just weird. I just thought that it was kind of odd. Um. All right. So now we're gonna go down to the end, other end here. So we um. So we have a. This just made me feel a whole lot better. So all of the electronics are off. They're, they're not under the tank. I didn't I didn't want electronics up under, you know, hundreds of gallons of water. <laughs> so down in here. Okay, don't judge. This is a mess, but um I tried to <laughs> tried to get it a as mess. neat as possible, but Holy it is shit. Yeah. That looks amazing. I that looks amazing. <laughs> Look at all the hydros. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, so I've got a wave engine up here at top, and then two control fours. Um, and then I've got uh, some Wi-Fi strips. So I've got four of those. Um, let's see here. This was another. Uh, <laughs> this uh, this is another. Um, uh, I should have could have planned this out just a little bit better. Um, but it works. It it works. It have serves its purpose. Into, uh, have you looked into XP8s at all? Well, yes. Um, it just it just kills me <laughs> to spend more money on it when I. It just seemed like as soon as I bought all this stuff, it, which this I'm sure happens. I bought all this stuff, and then you know newer stuff came out, or or new stuff came out that. I would have rather had, but I feel the I, same way. You know what I mean? It's like every time I think I'm like, yes, okay, I got this shit figured out. Then they release something else that's like, fuck. I think they all, they all go through that though. Yeah. That's, it's like we are so far behind with Apex yeah. day here. So I kept on yeah. buying all of these modules and stuff. Then it's like, oh, by the way, we are bringing out the EB, well, EB6, <laughs> EB6 for us here. Which had all of the one link connections on it, and I could have saved myself a fortune. So yeah, you just yeah, you just have to yeah. keep going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's I reached a point in my life where I stopped caring about getting the latest iPhone. You know, yeah, I'm fine something two, three, four models ago. It still yeah. works. It's fine. I'll get the yeah. newest, latest, and greatest when what I have breaks. Yeah. Yeah. For now, I guess to, it, yes, I have thought about it. Um, for is now, is the Wi-Fi good on those? I know. Um, you know initially, the hydros, the Wi-Fi bar sucked. It was so many yeah. alerts. I uh, I heard so many complaints, and um, I don't want to jinx myself, but I haven't had any issues yet. Um, now I do have my I do have my Wi-Fi. Uh, nice. that you know it's just designated just for the tank um right so right there <laughs> it's right next to the tank so i don't have that you know water interrupting you know the signal um in the kitchen because that's yeah, where the, the router bars, is i think the bars have gotten a lot better through firmware updates too so having yeah. a good signal that that probably helps a lot 2.4 right. gig or whatever exactly yep yep Yep. So, um, so no, to answer your question, I have not had an issue. The what the Wi-Fi uh, connection has been great. Um, you know, I'll have the occasional hiccup when I'm doing my upgrade, you know, my firmware update. Um, but it, I just give it some time and it usually just works itself out. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully this will, uh, this will improve, um, with some, some more time i want to work on this and get it a little more organized um that it's a challenge I'm not gonna lie it's a freaking challenge all these cords and wires and it's like where where do you go with them but it's so nice know. that you have them all in one space and that's not yes by thumb. right exactly yep yep um i thought about trying to because you know there's this space in between here so there's about i want to say there's like six eight inches um in of open space in between that wall and then the other wall that goes into the sump that um that you know where the cords are coming in um and i thought you know i just had this idea like oh i'll just you know take and shove all the excess of the cords down into that little spot there and then just pull out what i need well that was just it was a good thought 
you know, but it, it did not work like I thought it was going to. Um, so yeah, so here's this, this is all the, uh, the cord management or lack thereof. Um, yeah. So I think that, and then I got my little push lights in there. You don't want to fire up your computer and show us your Hydros dashboard so we can all draw cocks all over it. Yeah, right. Um, let's see here. I got a... <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back. I got to Yeah. I gotta uh... try this. So the share the screen thing. Yeah, so what happened during my tank tour was I was screen sharing my desktop and then somebody found the annotate tool and within like half a second just the screen was taken over by drawings. It oh, was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me Y'all are killing me with all the Hydra's gear. I just want y'all to know that. Everybody's killing me. <laughs> you you didn't um you could open that door up and put it on Christmas mode since your tree's in the same room. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, look at your dog. Look at your dog. Oh yes. Oh uh, what kind of dog is that? Uh so they're German short hair pointers. Oh my god. We have we have three of them and they're siblings. That's what um, happens. That's what you have? Yes. Oh my, oh my goodness. God. The oh, Dudley oh connection. The <laughs> Dudley connection. Oh. oh gosh, that's funny. They're um, gorgeous. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to. I wonder. Do you? Can you? All right. Can someone talk me through this? So I see the share screen button, but um, I don't see. Look at the Do doggies. I have to go in? <laughs> Never mind the hydros. <laughs> Ron has lost all interest in the aquarium. He wants oh, you to that's... follow the dogs around. That's yeah. hilarious. That's hilarious. Hey, Smokey back here taking a shit. <laughs> oh gosh. Um I don't know okay, how to me... do this. The... I'm trying to go screen. into so I've got let me go to my hydro. So I wonder, do I have to um go into the hydro first? No, you you just have to choose to share your screen on Zoom and it, the it's definitely turned on because it wasn't the very first tour we did. It wasn't, so I, I turned it on for everybody. So it should be, it should be there. Huh. So I have the button there, but when I click on it, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. Um. Go see here. Share accessibility. Maybe. No. Nope. I only do it um, on a desktop, so I, I can't help. Sorry. Right. Let me see. Damn it, Ron! You're supposed to be more of a help than that. <sighs> I just, I just <laughs> you're fucking it up as usual. There you go. <laughs> Who, we need a new snowman. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody turned a up. Called, somebody turned up <laughs> a lot of decks and then changed their name to Colin for sex. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Is that Jeff? Sounds like something big horny Jeff would do. I was thinking it was Zach W. I, I, I'm thinking it probably is. So let me see if I can. I might be able to. Let me go get. Um... Damn it. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. I just say dog, dog, dog to myself when I see one walk by. So here, here's, uh, my, here's my fifth <laughs> father in thing. case. In like case dog. anybody wants to see dog. any goodies. <laughs> oh, look at that. What do you uh, what do you keep in there? So I've got a spare return pump up here. Um, I've got uh two backup heaters here. I got some, you know, frag racks, some just some random like coral. This is stuff better than and... fish stores. <laughs> My fish trap. Um you know, just some supplies. Yeah. Um, I got some. You have more stuff on the shelf than the my LFS for sure. What was, what was all the got... um? What was what was all the Brightwell black jugs to the left there? What's all that? So I've got some neophos, some neonitro, some coral amino, uh, microfactor. Fuck. Uh... So Zach, you you are <laughs> an addict. Yes. Uh, I know. You are reefing. Definitely, <laughs> that is more than my damn store. <laughs> I got everything. Um, I swear, yeah. it's like Beth and Zach got together, made a list of everything Ron loves, 
and then are just doing this to mess with him. Like every single thing that Ron goes bonkers over, she's showing, including the dogs. Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah, the Brightwell bottles, everything. Yeah, yeah I mean. Yeah, look, look so, at Ron. Look at Ron's the face. organization. Look, look he, he, he can't contain himself. So, so this can't is all. Himself. He's got that look in his face, like Ooh, yeah. like a little There's kid. There's more. There's more. There's, this is a whole cabinet Whoa. full. Of... I you get more than one pair of glasses. What are you tra- Why? You've well, only got one pair friends... of eyes. No, our friends come over. There's, you know, we like to sit and you know oh, do our act- do you our activities have, in front of the tank. Do you have spare glasses for your friends. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You have wow. real life friends. Did you yes. have friends? Was my question. Yeah. All, of yeah. my, all of my friends are on here. <laughs> you know, it's funny because my son. Um, so he's fourteen, and I always his phone's always going off, and I'm like, "What the fuck is Discord?" Like, I'm thinking it's some like I don't know idea, you know. And he's, I'm like, "Why is your phone just blowing up all the time?" He goes, "It's my Discord group, my friends." I go, "Your friends." I go on Discord. He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Now here I am doing a, a live video on Discord, and he's that's, gonna be like, gonna blow his mind." Are you doing well, I told him. And- Fuck that. He's yeah, gonna find he's- something else. It's like yeah. now that the moms and dads are doing this shit, we gotta find something else. Yeah. This sucks. So okay. I don't know if <laughs> we ruined Instagram, if- TikTok. We're coming for your Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see here. I was thinking I had, Uh, so I have Hydros. I do have the Hydros app on my iPad, but I don't know. Um, Let's see here. Man, I think I see all your coral yet. Yeah, yeah. I think I failed you guys. Um, I I don't think I can get my Hydros up. Um, That's okay. Yeah, that's what happens. It just won't let me share my screen. Um. Uh, I think we're all just not, we're not mad. We're all just probably disappointed in you. Oh, well, okay. Thanks, Dad. Guys, hold <laughs> on, hold on. How often can you not get it up? Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. So just pipe down. Yeah, give me some grace here, okay? Boy, what the fuck you want? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, ropes, wrong way. Let me go back. Okay. So nice, um, nice filter, by the way. What filter is that? <laughs> that is uh, the Orphic. Popular Just choice. A little clip on, you know, onto my my phone. <laughs> so here, I got some little mushrooms cooking. I got a couple jawbreakers in there and a uh, fire yuma. Is that a wee MP for a Nem guard? Oh uh, no, actually, it is a mushroom um mushroom container. I have the lid, but I just don't put it oh. on there. It looks like yeah. a, a wee MP40 guard. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It does, actually. Well, um, I've heard the real experts just use a coffee cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the difference. I'm a professional, not an expert. Uh-huh. See? See? From North Canada, <laughs> see what I there. did there? <laughs> um, yeah. I drill um, holes in a specimen container for mine, so I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> specimen container huh a pea cup yes a pea cup okay all right all right i wasn't thinking pea but okay we'll go with that well i mean what whatever works for you uh, Kyle, I use my damn wife's nylons in the tupperware <laughs> okay so here i'll just kind of take you around and show you so so i'll, I'll forewarn everyone which you're gonna see i have a horrible horrible aptasia problem right now um it's really pissing me off but um yeah it's not as so. bad as you think because i haven't seen one yet and trust well me. just wait just wait you know <laughs> i name mine okay so somebody somebody's mic is so poor quality i'm just hearing blips but not hearing words i don't know who it is don't know who's talking zach, to- zach don't be sad okay <laughs> don't be sad <laughs> that's he knows, nice he, he knows why he knows why that's okay uh, let's see here this guy you little asshole he's such a photo bomber he steals the show every time i come up to the tank yep mine does it <laughs> yeah 100 percent
That is a monster yellow tang. <laughs> He's gorgeous. Was, I was just thinking the same thing. He looks enormous. Yeah. That's fantastic. He's a, he's about, that is he's another about, hell of a drop there, Ron. He's a he's a he's a pretty average average size. He's about four inches. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside joke with Kevin and I the other day. I had to had to do it. I don't know if he's still on here. Yeah, I think he's still here. I'm on here. I'm just muting my uh, my mic. Uh, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> Thanks, looking awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Get back in the torches. Uh, they are by far. Uh, this is my favorite part of the tank. I think it's a garden. Yeah, you have so many fish. It's hard <laughs> to see. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, Just look great, though. Wow. Yeah. See, see those, see those hairy aptasia back there. Isn't that fun? Yeah, but God, if you hadn't pointed annoying. it out, you ha if you hadn't pointed it out, it's yeah. good. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You see more than we do. I know, I know. Totally true. Totally true. We're Holy like a bunch recording. of children. We're like pretty colors. Ooh. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm that mushroom's as wide as that fish. Yeah, yeah. That My fire yuma is massive. Nuts. Massive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You've got a lot of stuff in that tank. Yeah, and this is my big leather. He's gotten huge too. Wow. That's <laughs> nice. Fish. They are so underrated. Yes, yes, definitely. Oh, is that your problem, child? Well, no, that, um, not yet. The problem child I got rid of. Oh. I, I had three in there and uh, they were just coming out the front here and it was just stinging all my blastos. I mean, you can see that one where it, it, it got a head on there and uh, it split, kept splitting. I'm like, no, I just, I wanted one. And so I, uh, I was pretty aggressive with a couple and I, I just had to get them out. <laughs> So I'm down to one. And as long as he stays back there, I'll leave him. But so um, so I had something crazy happen with this guy last week, the finger leather. Um, he was probably three times that size and he just shriveled up. I, I no idea why. <laughs> no it, idea why. Was it the cold? It, it happens sometimes. Well, I mean... It it, it's consistently 76.3 degrees in the tank. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> it hasn't, it hasn't uh, come back at all. Not even for a minute. No, not really. Nope. I mean, it still looks, it looks fine though. Yeah, you said it's been like that for like about a few four. Weeks. No, no, no. Just this was just recent for maybe five days ago. Are we could, is he shedding or no? I don't know. It doesn't look like it yet. Usually the with the uh, toadstool, I, it's very obvious. I can tell when he's shedding. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> but that guy, no. There's such drama queens, though. If you pissed it off like last <laughs> week from just brushing it or something, he'll pout for like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. That could that could be. I mean, it could be a thing. Um, yeah. So there is, uh, those are all my. We need someone what? who could solve that in five minutes on here. <laughs> What's your prized, top prized three pieces? Oh, three pieces. Well, probably my, my leather. My toadstool yes. leather is one of them. Yeah, um, that's a good pick. Man, that's a good pick. Uh, it's tough. They all look my, awesome. The Ghani is uh, becoming one of my favorites. Um, gosh. I always have a spot for Euphilia. So torches and hammers and frog spawns always. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of loving my jawbreaker down here too. 
Yeah, he's big. Um, yeah. So I would definitely say leather is is probably number one. Um, and maybe the Ghani. Um, hmm. Scolies are scolies are a, a favorite. Oh no, no, no! Here we go. This blasto <laughs> right here that bounces like a mushroom. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That and it's got uh got some babies there along the bottom that are coming out. But when I when I got it, it was, you know, it looked more like like these guys, you know, where um that guy. But then it just started blowing up and bubbling and it's just so fun to watch. And it, if you look closely, it jiggles. I love a good jiggling coral. <laughs> <laughs> so how you've got all these corals how do you how do you feed like you said you were feeding the fish and you went away from frozen and but yeah. what do you do to take care of all these corals so um let me go in my other fish tank container here um so i i do a little bit of everything so i've got some reefroids that i i feed um i've got in the refrigerator i got a slew of some uh, reef nutrition i feed roe i feed um pack pods i feed um obviously fido um i've got let's see here oyster feast um i mean i use a slew of right wells you know Ooh. yeah just like i try a little bit of everything i try to keep them all happy you know everybody's got different needs um <laughs> it's not a one mean? thing <laughs> Anna, so a nitty pen there how how do you how do you like oh that? yes i love mine i love it I love it. Yeah. Um, so far, I've had no issues. Um, also, before I forget, so I uh, this uh, barrier reef labs. Um, so one of the things that uh, I feed my fish, I was telling you about the nori flakes. So I don't know if you guys have heard uh, tier one reefing. And absolutely love these flakes. And so do my fish. I mean, they go crazy for it. So every time I... Um, and he's also, um, he's also law enforcement, which, you know, we're a big military family. So it, it's kind of nice to, you know, support, support that. Um, and so he always sends me samples of this coral food every, with every time I order um, the nori flakes. And so I've been feeding this recently and the corals seem to love it, love it. Um I suspect it's similar to, you know, reefroids. It looks, looks very similar. Um, very cool. So, so uh, when you touched on the, the salinity pen there, um, I just forgot I have to, I, I didn't show you one thing. Um, so for my testing, my water testing, which I couldn't right now at the moment tell you my parameters because it's been a couple of weeks, but. Um, oh, good, good for you. That's not like you. No, I know. I'm usually like right on it, but that looks like an aqua spin case. <laughs> um, so here's my test kit. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Holy shit! Right, I'm a, I'm done. See you later. <laughs> <sighs> um. So yeah. So I mean, you know, I've got my alkalinity. I got my phosphates. Um. I, I wish I was organized like that. <laughs> Me too. I'm Calcium. not that guy. No? I get shit everywhere. I get shit everywhere. <laughs> it's just, so just sitting places. I have to lay a towel down. I, I just, I gotta have it all organized in one place. Um, yeah. I mean, I, so, I try to be like that, but it just, I fail at it immediately. Like, it just doesn't handy, work. Handy dandy little mini funnels for pouring in the reagent yeah i love them i've printed love a them yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah so that's my uh and usually my pen is in here but i use that i just did my water change yesterday so that's why it's in there but so yeah so there's my uh yes but as zach said um i typically oh, i'm kind leave. of a kind of a freak about uh oh. <laughs> about oh, doing my uh water testing ruby you sit oh. you sit say say hi Say hi. Wow. Say hello. <laughs> she, um, yeah. And then also to help, I don't think I touched on this, but so I make my own little, uh, what do you call this? Coral snow, I guess. 
that what you call ah, this? Oh, you yeah. were talking about this last tour, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so so that goes in there. Um, so every basically every time I uh, clean my glass, um, you know, anytime I I stir anything up in the tank, uh, you know, clean out the backs of my overflows, all that stuff. Then I I dose this right after. Um, and uh, it it I love it. Um, keeps it nice and clear. Gets all the you know all the floating particles out of the the water and column you, you put that in a pump bottle that's that's brilliant yeah, yeah that is yep. brilliant yeah yep. and I'm, then I'm I, stealing and, i'm stealing that <laughs> idea for sure and then i just take my little uh i've got my little uh saltwater aquarium uh shot glasses and i i just fill it um fill it up to about 20 uh 20 milliliters and uh good to go about an eighth of a cup yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't do. Uh... <laughs> you, you had to go there, Jim. You just had to go there. Oh. Um. So yeah. So this is what. Uh. This is the food that I'm feeding. Uh. The fish. So it's the coral frenzy, um, reef and fish pellets. They love this stuff. So do you um, just and... broadcast feed the entire tank, or are there certain corals that you target, or? Nope. I broadcast the whole tank. I just uh, take and I mix it all up and I will, um, I turn my feed mode on through my hydro. So it shuts off the, all of the, the dryers or the, or the uh, MP40s, um, you know, all that. And then I will just broadcast the whole tank. Yeah. There's your, um, there's your Aptasia issue. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but I, you know, the thing is I, I was so good about, you know, not putting things in there um I, I just don't i just don't know how i got it you got it you're from, welcome you got it from zach it's fine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah thanks <laughs> now, it, it, but it I'm, i've learned here in the last like especially in the last couple of months it doesn't matter how crazy you are about making sure everything is perfect before it goes in there doesn't yeah. fucking matter right right it you can be crazy about it it you just got to deal with it when it happens yeah. I found bubble algae in my tank yesterday. This tank has never had bubble algae in it. Have no idea where it came from. Just boop. Yeah. There we go. Hello. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. I, I try. For punishment. I would still like to set up a tank one day with dry rock and a quest to not get vermicids. Oh. Uh, good luck. Well, I uh, so I had a vermicid bane of my problem, existence, and I got a yellow chorus rass. Bam, gone, gone. I don't have any really? in there, right? And gone, just gone. Do you think your but, corals will help as well? Well, that's possible too. Um, but I still had them before I got the chorus rasp, and I was dosing. I was doing the coral snow, so it, that cool. probably helped. But the chorus rasp, I, uh, I think, finished them off. The yeah, my tank was started with dry rock, and I still have. I got a shitload of remitted, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, unfortunately I, my, I think I have to, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do about this guy just yet because he ate my yellow chorus rest and, um, he's been taking pieces out of my diamond goby. So <clears throat> he, uh, <laughs> he doesn't do anything for the tank, but look pretty. And, uh, the other two are, uh, you know, they're kind of a uh, tools in my tank. So I don't, he might have to, uh, he might have to go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. If I'm going to leave him. Uh, but I witnessed him chasing my diamond goby this morning with its tail in his mouth. So oh, shit. he got some tail this morning. Anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, yeah. So then this little weird guy, he, this is what he does. He lets the, uh, the pump suck him up. He just, it holds him there. And I thought he was like dead one day. And I went, cause like he was just glued to the, just wrapped around it. And I just tapped on the tank and he just took off. <laughs> I have a theory on why he might be there next to the suction button. <laughs> oh, oh, you too, huh? You that's, too, huh? That's where I'd okay. fucking hang out. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So what are we up to now? So we've got uh I think I've covered most um 
most oh we want to um water changes is that what we're we're going yeah, to so next huh water yeah. changes procedures and then on to what your future plans are <clears throat> did um, you give okay. like an outline to her ron like we've got yeah. like a I, Jake, um, you missed it, I Jim. Holy shit. Of, yeah. I, have a I think he has. I was watching what him. I think fuck? he has it written down. I think he has notes written. I do. Now I have a pen. <laughs> oh my God. This um, is. And I, what have we evolved I'm, into I'm here? Picking off sections um, as we go through them just to make sure. See, what I'm, see what I'm doing to him? <laughs> this is. Cha you've changed it all. Like, this has changed everything. <laughs> Oh Fuck. gosh! No, that's, you're, this not, is all, you're not the person I used to know. Getting better, Ron. Ron. You're not it's the just, person I used to know. No, this, this is all <laughs> off the back of the potential chat recording. How many women? How many doing. women throughout your life have told you that, Ron? That? <laughs> you're not the Ron I used to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole. I, I thought it was cool when we all had t-shirts and sweatshirts. Now we got fucking agendas and shit. <laughs> Where's your t-shirt, Jim? Where's your suit jacket? And it's where's your way. Suit, blazer, suit jackets dude. around yeah, where, the corner. Where's your I'm suit changing jacket my look. That you had last week? Where, I'm, cha I'm changing my look again. I'm trying to go with a little different look again, a little more <laughs> casual. casual. I, I, that got too serious. I did, didn't catch the audience the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Jim, do you have Yoda behind you? Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, yeah I got a Yoda got a behind me. Too. Jeez, I can't see any of this until I turn my camera. I got Yoda. I Try to stay off That's the camera. But... Fucking awesome! <laughs> I love it. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. You're fine. I, um... I saw Yoda. I'm like, what the fuck? Cool. Yeah, there's Darth <laughs> Vader and a stormtrooper. I didn't, Jim. I didn't know you were a Star Wars dork. I am. I'm sci-fi dork. I like sci-fi. Ah, okay, cool. That's good to know. Not Star <laughs> Trek so much, but Star Wars, yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> back to the agenda. Ron, okay. Pen out. Yeah, sorry. Hey, easy Hijacked, on the agenda, okay? I already have my 24 <laughs> agenda ready to go. So let's just take it easy. Okay. All right. Fucking agendas. Are we good now? Can we can we move back? I can't get over it. I can't. It's, it is not an agenda. It's just a list of discussion topics, Jim. Just it's a, record, it's a planner. Jim, Jim a thinks planner. everyone planner. Has, has a knife behind their back ready to stick into their neck. He's just so ready to pounce all the fucking people out. what does that have to do with an agenda the dog <laughs> he'd be like shut the fuck up yeah right like watch your back when you know who's behind you i'll be talking or in front of you <laughs> it's discord we could all be fucking weirdos right <laughs> you gotta watch well, your back I'm not going to say anything. Just you guys get it all out. Get it all out. I'll give you another 30 seconds. Get it all out. This is what do you mean? Good. Could be. <laughs> That's all Jim. Jim only needs 30 seconds. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. I, I thought we were firmly in the camp of our weirdos. <laughs> Some are just slightly weirder than others. Oh, gosh. Big worm, big hole, big, I don't give a damn. Make sure to not let my 14 year old watch this. <laughs> this has not been that bad, trust me. <laughs> okay, so uh, on to water changes. All right. Wait, hold on. So, hold on. Um, number, number nine on the agenda was talk about Cox. Has anyone mentioned Cox? No. I um, did earlier, no, but, I think. Well, you just said it though. Oh, cool. I'll just take that one off. There, there you go, Jim. Okay, there, there you go. go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you probably shouldn't get me going on that, okay? Let's just let's just skip over number nine and what's number let's ten. Let's skip over it. <laughs> yeah, let's skip over it. That's quite something. Anyway, um, yeah, on you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's a dog. Oh my god, doggies, doggies. It's like it's huh. like squirrel, squirrel, oh. race, race. It is like squirrel. Is it? Is it? I can't That's believe Carl. you have three Good German girl. short-haired pointers. How many do you have? Just. <gasps> we've, we've, We've Hold on. The one she just unplugged is, me. That is plenty. How many people said good? <laughs> Technical difficulties. How many people said right, good dog when she that? <laughs> My bad. She just uh, jumped up and unplugged me. <clears throat> good. Anyways, um, so yeah. So how many? How many do you have? Just the one. 
which is this one. Okay, trust me, more than more than enough. He is a very special dog. Yes. Okay. All I right. know everyone All says right. that about their pets, but trust me, he's actually really, really special. Oh no, I, I completely agree with you. Um, we just have three very special ones, so we don't get much sleep. Yeah. So do do you struggle <laughs> with separation anxiety with yours? Um. Well, they struggle more than we do, okay. but um you know we're it's it was worse it was worse um definitely you know, Ron, we, i thought dudley would just be strapped to your chest and like a papoose or something <laughs> I, I didn't think he could be more than five feet away from you at any oh, no, point in time he's not he's he's right there he's right there and he's staring at me the inter- oh my god look at your dog she is uh she's 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 attached to me. She's my uh She is absolutely gorgeous. This is uh this is Reese. <clears throat> now and my then partner we've got... Bernadette has now just run across the office and is now watching this. She wants to see your dogs. <laughs> nope, don't don't do that again. Don't do it again. All right. So anyways, go go play. Go play with your brother. So right. um the fish tank then. What's that? Back to the fish tank then. <laughs> yeah, back to the fish tank. Okay, so uh, water change schedule. Schedule. Uh, so I typically, um, I was really, in the wintertime, I'm really good about being very regular with the water changes. Um, again, in the summertime, um, because of my work, it's a little more sporadic. But um, so typically it's every two weeks. Um, I was doing... A t- well, I was doing um, two two big brute cans, so about 70, 75 gallons um, every two weeks. And then, um, but I've since, um, I'm going to knock that down to only one brute can um, and, and do, try a little more uh, frequent, smaller water changes. Um, what's so, the reasoning there? What's that? The What's the oh. reasoning for the change there? Just to do something different? Well, no. So I, yeah, I've been trying. Um, I can't keep SPS to save my life. Uh, and so um, actually my one of my local fish store um, owners had suggested uh, that maybe the 75 gallon water change is too much of a, a too much at once. Um, so he's just i think he's he just likes more frequent smaller changes so i'm going to try that and see if that changes anything you are clearly um, a complete and utter like gear junkie right so have you never considered an automatic water change system i i have yes i have um and it probably will be something that i will do down the road um next weekend i'm thinking yeah <laughs> No, the reef mat, the the the, the fleece rollers first, <laughs> um, and and I'll I can when I go downstairs to show you, I I do have the room for it. It's just the logistics and forking out the money and and actually putting them putting it into motion, um, but but that is a future plan. Yes, I I have wanted to do the auto water change uh, for a while now. Um, but I'm also one of those types of person who I like the physical work that I'm putting into my tank. Also, it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something and not a computer, <clears throat> you know? Um, yeah, I, I yes. I really appreciate that. You know, yes, it is very, very, very convenient. Um, but I also like to do some of the work myself. So, you know, um, just, I get to actually like see the fruits of my labor, you know? Um, but yes, pushing a button and saying, do this, do this, do this, you know, X day, X day, whatever. The, yeah, great. I, I love that idea. I'm on board. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to, um, yesterday I did a, a 35 gallon water change um, <clears throat> instead of the usual 70. Um, so really, it's kind of old school, like uh, <laughs> he yawned again. Um, so I guess maybe should we... I'm trying to think of the best place to start. If you want to see all of the things, do you, you want to see everything? Where everything is at and all that? Or do you just want me to kind of explain it? Full Buna. Full. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to go. We're going to, so we're going down to the basement. I got fish stuff on every floor in my house. <laughs> okay. Ron, go ahead and say it, Ron. Ron, yep. say it. Come on. 
Say Wait, it. So, waiting. I was waiting for it. So here's my. <laughs> Ron, what the fuck? Say it. <laughs> no. Say it, Ron. No. Damn it, say it. No. I want you to say it. I want to nope. hear say it. Say it. Let's hear it. Say it. Nope. <laughs> okay, fine. So here's my, one of my, uh, I got a hospital tank here. So we're entering the gym that never gets used. <laughs> um, God, look at all this space you've got. Ron, say it. Come on, say it. Say it, Ron. <laughs> Damn it, say it. <laughs> it's actually way funnier. You keep saying that. <laughs> Come on, say it. Damn it. What's I need it. Me? Come on. What does he want me to say? Yeah, that's a good question. Now I'm starting it's to wonder. A, it's a basement. What are you going to say, Ron? You say the same thing every time. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Say it. It's a fucking basement, Ron. It's, it's yeah, it's a fucking basement, Ron. What do you say every time? <laughs> it's, it's bigger than my basement. fucking house. And I wish I had a fucking basement. I wish I had a basement. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. That's all I needed. Now back to our programming. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So... Here Sorry, I've Beth. got a um this was my no it's like this was my uh this was my quarantine tank. Um <clears> so <throat> I had this all set up and before I decided uh that it was just a big waste of time. So here is my um so I've got 275 gallons of um well currently not quite that much, but uh <laughs> you are no fucking around <laughs> so so my RO oh, water bad. here. <laughs> my R RO what water. The fuck? <laughs> I thought I was gonna see like a brute. Yeah, this is what Zach got, has like, in a store. Fucking... I don't. I I do shit right. Technically, I have one of those too. What? Yeah, I have five of those in the garage. Shit. But we'll get to that later. We'll get to that next. You have so, what? Um, I have a bunch of those brute cans. We'll get to those here in just a bit. Um, all right, so here is my RO water. So you'll kind of see um, upstairs in the garage is my uh, my RO system. And so it runs, uh, when I turn it on, it runs <clears throat> down and it fills fills up, it goes into my, uh, my container here and fills up with RO water, right? So inside here, I have a, we got a pump down there. So it's kind of set up so because when i was using this here this was my this was my auto top off right so i needed a way to get that water there into here so my husband put in a little uh thing here so i could i could fill this um with with our water so basically this plug here is this pump and so when it's plugged into this box here there's a switch um up in the garage where the ro is so when I go upstairs and I flip that switch, it pumps RO water out of here, up and to the garage, out the spigot in the garage. Um, and so I can hook my Python up to that. Um, you know, I can, I fill my buckets with RO water to soak my filter socks in, stuff like that. Um, and then, but if, if I and, plug this uh, in. Random question. Sure. Is all is all the plumbing from that container up to the garage copper free? Yes. Cool. I just Other, didn't know if that was yeah because this is related this is, to your SPS. Yeah. No. This. So this is on the outside. That's just a yeah. So yes, it's all um. So it's all, either this here or the rest <laughs> of it's this plastic. So it it just goes all the way up. It's all but it's all plastic or this vinyl. Um, so is it. the gate is the gate valve plastic as well? So yes, it is. Um, so it's actually just like a plastic T, like that and goes the, in the gate valve up to the left. There is that all plastic? Yes. Yep. Ah, cool. Yeah. Oh, this is all plastic. Um. So that uh, so that's where I get my my RO water comes down when it's made and then um Jim. is pumped up when I need it, you know, when I call for it upstairs. Um, what are so, we on, Jim? Section 10.1.B? I'm trying to catch <laughs> up. I'm trying to catch up. So, as you can see, I have the space that I could easily do an auto water change system. Um, and and that, like I said, I do plan on doing that sometime in the future. Okay, so back up. Back upstairs now. Oh, 
God, that is genuine. There's a dog. That's There's bad a dog. bigger than my entire house. <laughs> my husband, he's, uh, he's quilting. What is that? It's a long arm yeah. quilting machine. I've always said it's on a loom. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's uh, automated. It's it's quilting. It's running us, right now. So, like, there's the pattern. You put the pattern in, and you tell it to go, and it uh, it quilts the pattern on these people's quilts that they bring to us. Oh my god, that's yeah. fan fucking fantastic. Yeah, so that's just a little fun thing. You say Ron hi? is gonna need his hey. number for a bunch of <laughs> reefy as fuck. You. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, whoa. Can, that can room you had like we... seven hundred fucking what? Roger. Holy Roger. cow! Oh, that's all the thread. <laughs> But to the left, there's like it's like a store. Oh, that's just all of our shit. <laughs> it, it, you guys go hard in your hobbies. I love this. This is awesome. Yes, yes absolutely. We do. All we do. gas, what, no brakes. Yeah. How is Roger with the aquarium stuff? Um, he. Uh, Let's ask. You should ask him on camera. Yeah. <laughs> they want to know how you are with the aquarium stuff. I'm fine. I look in. <laughs> he's fine he looks at it i do this to support the ham yeah yeah yep <laughs> see he really loves me <laughs> thank you roger <laughs> <laughs> okay there's another dog jesus they're everywhere dog. um okay <laughs> so out to i got distracted here. out to the garage okay so See my brute if there's an Audi out there, Ron is going to die. Uh, what? He's, <laughs> oh, he's not going to no. die, but something's going to happen. This yeah. Just... We just have a lot of, we just have a lot of toys. Yeah, so, but... okay. Yeah, but what? Just all the space. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, yeah. you, you would think my house was a joke. What? What? <laughs> How big is your kitchen, Ron? I can touch both walls. In your kitchen, really? Yes. I can't I can touch both walls in my kitchen too, Ron. Yep. It's okay. Bernadette, I, I gotta Bernadette. try it. I don't think I can in my kitchen. No, I can't do that in my kitchen. <laughs> when I say touch both walls, I mean one with one hand and one with my penis. Oh well, that changes things. Okay. No, on a serious note, I can't be in the kitchen with Bernadette um and the dog if the dishwasher's open. There's not enough space. Oh geez. That's how small it is. Wow. That is Show small. us your kitchen at this where you are now. I mean, you've got a kitchen that's bigger than a house. Where me? You do at the garden run. center. Oh, the garden. Yeah, your, <laughs> your kitchen at the garden center is bigger than, and it has all like all the good stuff in it. So yeah, know. it has to. It's, 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 you don't <laughs> spend any time at home anyway. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You're always at the garden center. I am. <laughs> All right, so R O D I here, and it's so, and it's climate controlled to make really good fudge. Oh jeez, <laughs> that that is that's the big house. That's a different room. Oh, that's a whole nother kitchen you have. Yes, yeah, yes. I don't. I there's something that you, nobody probably knows about. I don't like fudge. Yes, I don't, I don't think. Like yeah, fudge. it's only for the it's only for the the, the vacationers. Fudges. Like for the, you're not I supposed don't... to be eating the fudge. You from the... here? You shouldn't be eating that. It's for the well, weekend. Definitely not packing the fudge. So oh, um... that was my next Ooh. comment. You got me. Uh... You, are, you are one of us. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. We we're, we're getting off topic again here. <laughs> That's what we do. Have you noticed no. any of our channels in the Discord? There's no topic. This is agenda I shit. I don't. It floors me. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, this is funny. This is great. Um. Ah. Uh, anyways. Um. Yes. So. <laughs> so you that, got me without your, nothing. <laughs> is that your freshwater spigot to the right there? Yes, that's okay. the RO. Yep. So that's what comes up um, from downstairs. And so here's my switch right here. So when I flip that switch up, then I get RO water out of this awesome. and a whole lot of spitting and sputtering for the first couple of seconds. But uh, yeah, so essentially that's, that's where my RO comes from. Um, so yeah. And then here's my, I got a four stage um, RO and uh, 
my TDS meter up here. So I just flip this little little switch there and it starts starts running uh, down the down to the uh, the reservoir downstairs. Um, so as far as the actual water change, so what I do, so you'll see here, so these these cans, uh, so I've got two of them are on wheels, so that's the dirty water. And then uh, the two without wheels are what I put my fresh, um, freshly mixed salt water in. And uh, so I will run a, let me go in here. Got my, my big python. That mine is bigger than anybody else's on here. Uh, what you said. <laughs> And uh, so I will actually hook that up to that that spigot, and I will um, I will come and place the buckets here in front of the tank, and I will just run that python in here. I'll fill it with water, and then I bring my salt out. I mix my salt, I test it. Um, you know, I heat it. Um, usually heat it for about twenty four hours and let it sit after it's mixed. And um, then I have another. Um, I just have a pump. Uh, CJ pump hook up hooked up to, uh, with some clear you know uh, tubing and I will just stick that in one corner of the tank and I will pump my shitty water out into the bucket and then I have a another CJ the the utility pump zero utility pump and I have a um you know what are the green hooks um fastened to the end of the hose and I just uh, set the hook up here and it fills once I'm once I'm done. You are definitely going to set up an automatic water change system. <laughs> 100%. You're, you're definitely yeah. going to do it. Yeah. I, I probably will. It's just a matter of when. I, I, like I said, I really honestly don't mind doing the work, but it would come in handy because we do, you know, when we leave for vacation or we go somewhere, you know, it can just, it can just be changing while we're gone, you know. That's it. That's it. Uh, yep. You know, so... It's, you vacation um, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> you're always you're you always fucker, Jason. Stuff. You call me out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What um, what kind of salt do you use? So I use the Brightwell Aquatics Neo Marine. Okay, you can sit in the store just down that hole there, Jason. Didn't you uh, see my well, Brightwell uh, store uh, in the closet? Well, yeah, but I, I didn't know. I mean, just because you use Brightwell, everything else doesn't mean that you use Brightwell salt. <laughs> No, no. So I actually um, started out when I first, first started out with the 90 gallon, I was just using um, instant ocean, just the, just the regular, not the reef crystals. I was just using instant ocean. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I was using. And, um, and then I just kind of slowly, that was when I was like first getting back into it, you know? So I really didn't know I had, I had a lot to, to learn from when, <laughs> when I was back in it 16 years ago. So I just started out with the basics. And then, um, as I went, I, I learned, I met Zach and started, you know, going, um, you know, going to our, uh, well, back when we had monthly meetings, um, I was just kind of, you know, learning from everybody else and just, just watching and listening and seeing what worked for this person and seeing what didn't work. And so I just kind of started, uh, you know, gathering my own, uh, you know, procedures and, and things that I wanted to try. And, um, and that's kind of where I've, I've ended it, you know, with this tank is, I've got a system that works for me. My fish are happy. My corals are pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, and so I guess until something goes haywire, I'm, you know, I just don't see the need to change things. Um, oh, no, I hear that. You know, because then that was also one of my my um, mistakes. <laughs> um, not to skip, skip ahead, but um, one of my, you know, biggest mistakes, I think, well, not biggest, but one of my mistakes was, I was trying to, when something would go wrong, I would change four things at once. So then all of a sudden things went back to normal. I'm like, well, fuck, what fixed it? Was it A, B, C, or D? I don't yeah. know because I changed too many things at one time. Um, you know, patience was another thing. I had no patience when I first got back into it and I just wanted to go, go, go and just put everything in the tank right back. And I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> this is not going to work because it's just going to end in disaster and I just might as well throw my money away. So with this 210, I actually, I amazed myself. I went four whole months without lights. Like I didn't wow. turn my lights on at all. Like I'm like, nope, I'm doing this right. I'm not turning my lights on. I, so I just had, 
you know, my, my water, my rock, my sand. Um, and I think I might've had one or two fish in there and they were just, I think, I think they might've been clownfish. And, uh, after it cycled, of course, like I, I did a fishless cycle. I let it cycle, you know, the right way. I didn't want to harm the fish. And so then once it was cycled, then I, I put a couple small fish in there and then, uh, but yeah, no lights for four whole months. That's um, pretty good. Yeah. I wanted to, I just wanted to try it a, a way that I hadn't tried before. I knew what it was going to look like if I tried it the same way. So I'm like, well, let me try it this way and see if it changes. And it did. Did you mention did. that you started with dry or live rock, Beth? Oh, no, I did not mention that. I started with dry rock. Um, so I did a combination. Well, let's see here. I started with the, what was that? Was that the Marco rock? It, the white rock? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I started, started with that. Um, built my, so I, I built like, this is all one unit here. Um this is all one unit here and then this is like two pieces here um let me get my uh filter here so it's not all blue um so then after i um i suck i also found out i suck at building rockscapes um but my my fish love it because there is nothing but caves in these rocks and they absolutely love it I think, um, no, I don't, the, I don't, I don't think you suck at it. it. Look, it looks good. Ah, uh, see, I had a vision, and my vision did not look like this. <laughs> but now I will say, now that it's now that it's covered in coral, yes, it does look a lot better. Um, and then so this guy though, this is a this is actually an arch, and so that was one of the the Carib Sea life uh, life rock um, yeah. that I I had added after like. Oh gosh, I added like probably five, six months after the tank was up and running because I, I needed something there. It was just missing. It's really nice rock, that Carib Sea stuff. I, I, I started it is. last tank with it. I loved it. That's actually what I started my 90 with, um, was the Carib Sea life rock. And and it was fine. But in my last one, you know, it's one of those things you live and you learn. Like I basically in my 90, it was just a wall. And I knew with this tank, after learning from that, I didn't want a wall. I wanted to see the fish swimming. I wanted to, you know, um, and so this this did turn out a lot better. Um, but yeah, so so dry rocks. Um, and then actually I have, so some of this rock down in here, um, these pieces came out of, some of this came out of my 90, if I remember correctly. So it had been cooking for a while i think it was just a couple pieces if i remember correctly there might be a couple pieces in there from the 90 um so did you go through any ugly stage i did go through an ugly stage in this one but it was nothing like the last one it so i didn't really i didn't really have um like all the hair algae i didn't have the slimy brown stuff my rocks just kind of gradually turned brown um I, I did panic, you know, because that's what I do. Um, I panicked and I'm like, oh my God, I, I've got, you know, it just looks so horrible. But looking back at what I had in the 90 versus what I had in here was, it was nothing. Um, So a little bit on the sand, not bad. Um, yeah. Kind of what you see here, just a little bit of, you know, the, the red cyano look. Um, but no like stringy hair algae, no... um. Nothing, nothing major, nothing that really, um, I, I just kind of let it do its thing. Yeah. So it, and it, I, I might've it, dosed some, um, you know, some microbacter, you know, to kind of help, but, but yeah, nothing. I didn't really have to do anything major. Yeah. I, I started with old dry, um, Marco rock. Um, yeah. and I, I didn't go through a big ugly stage either. Um, I yeah. soaked the rock for, I think it was 10, 15 days in microbacter seven and a huge big vat. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah, I, I got uh, about six or seven days of diatoms. Yeah. You know, and then that passed and that was it. Done. Yeah. 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 The, d definitely a drastic change from last time, my last tank. And I love yeah, it. I just I think it. there's ways of using dry rock to start your tank. There's so many nightmare stories out there. Um, yeah. And I, I get it. But, you know, you've said straight off the bat, I didn't turn my lights on for the first four months. Boom. There's a great right. start. Yeah. Absolutely. 
absolutely. I, yeah, I think honestly, not turning I, the lights on too early makes a huge difference. Yeah. Well, I can, I, I agree with that. I, I definitely, definitely agree with that because in my 90, I turned them on within like a, a day or two days of, of having it set up. I think there needs to be far more of a focus on how people start tanks, especially with dry rock, it, because see at the end of the day, if your tank looks like shit, you don't want to look at it. Right. And it just puts you off right from the yep. very, very start. And then you end yeah. up battling one thing and then you inevitably go down the chemical route and then yeah. you have a chemical that then imbalances <clears throat> something else and you end up in this huge big loop. Um, yeah. You're not well done. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. I'm, I'm very uh, happy with it. It's, it's been, it's, it's been almost everything that I, uh, I, I could uh, have hoped for. Can I ask another question? Of course. Um, so going no. back here, go, going back. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> shut up. No. no. <laughs> so you don't store, you don't pre-mix a large amount of salt water and store it. You no. mix it basically as you need it. Yes. Okay. Yep. I, I do. See, um, um, just, just want to welcome John McLean to the chat. Hi, John. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> And is there um, a reason why you don't make pre mix salt? I mean, I'm just asking here because no, not really. Other than I just, uh, I, I guess I don't see that for me, I don't see the need. Okay. But I don't do the auto water change. So, well, I mean, I don't do auto water changes either, but oh, I, okay. pr I pre mix my salt. Um, do you? I, I mean, I'm on a, I'm on a much smaller scale here, but right. I, I pre mix my, my salt. Um, you know, and I, I keep salt water sitting here. Uh, you know, I have enough for water changes pretty much all the time. Yeah. Just because it, for me, um, if I don't have it sitting here, then I'm like, oh, fuck, I yeah. got to mix salt. And then oh, I got to do right. this. And, you know, and then I'm like, then maybe the water change gets pushed back. Right. And all of that. So, yeah, I was just, I was just wondering. Yeah. Like, no, you know, my other problem is, is I don't really have the space for it. Is that a joke? Yeah. That that's, a joke? A, that's that's a joke that's got to be a joke i don't have the space for another little bucket of water beth seriously <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell oh. <laughs> i had to i just thought i had to uh seemed like the right opportunity <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah so what's next that, for tank, beth what what's what what are you thinking um, obviously, well, you've touched on the subject of failing with SPS. Does that mean you want SPS? Well, I do. I really do. I'm still trying. I haven't given up. I got a couple right here. Um, but like <clears> I said, the um, this is the one, the Millie, that the two clown gobies won't quit fucking. Um, so it doesn't want to come out. It's it, like it was extended. <laughs> and now it's just like, fuck this. I'm done. Like, no. <laughs> so and then I, my digi over here, it's doing it's doing pretty good. Um, but I just, I can't seem to keep them. I can't seem to keep them alive. Um, Obviously, so I'm not, I, I don't know everything about your tank, but the height you have your lights and the depth yeah. at which you have your corals, that's, I wonder what I was, you're getting. I was, yeah, I was going to ask, do you have, did you take par readings? I did. Um, let me go into my, I got to go in and look for my uh, reference for my, my pictures, because I think at the top I was getting like, it was under just under 200 oh okay that's that's really low for sps but, in my yeah opinion. but then i turned them up so i just i don't have a power meter i was borrowing it from my friend so i haven't taken that power reading since i um turned my lights up uh do you have one zach B? if not i've got a app that you that i loan out to people about if you just want to cover shipping you can borrow it okay all right. Um, I rent one, but uh, our one of our friends in our group lends them out. He's being yeah. nice about it. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I rent out an Apogee too, so you can borrow mine uh, anytime. All right. Um. Yeah. So I I know we it was got you covered. No all fucking right. excuses. You can have three at a time. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see here. So yeah. So I can't find the picture right off the hit, off hand here but yeah so i do know i do know that my lighting was um 
uh, my lighting was a little low. And so I, I did turn them up a little bit and I just haven't done the reading since I turned them up. See, there he's going at it again. He's like, yeah, you little fucker. What's, um, why are you doing that? I don't know. He's just, he won't leave them alone. Both of them. I got the green what? one too. What's he, what's he doing to it? He gets in, so. he gets in it and sits in it. Oh. Oh, and he, he likes to live in the coral. You need more Sherman. coral. Come here, Sherman. Yeah. Come here, Sherman. Yeah, you need more yeah, spots. <laughs> Some of them fish like to perch in the coral. Yeah. I mean, don't, I mean, you'd think, though, he's a little fucking big for it. He's like the size of he's the a coral. Little, yeah, he's a little, he's a little, he's I trying to him. trying to buff it. Yeah. He's not so sure. He's learning. Yeah. He's like, man, oh. A cat God, This a is small great. Box. I finally yeah. got a fucking place to hang out. If I sit, I fit. If I fit, I sit. Yeah, see, look at him. Look at him. He's like, I will make this fucking work. Looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah, that's the true best tank right now. So I'm going to fit in this fucking thing. It's yeah. going to fit. Yeah. It's got, I'm going to squeeze. going to fucking fit. A little yeah. tight, but oh, it's going to no, fit. Right. You guys got to force it sometimes. You got to force it. got to force it. Yeah. So, she so um. <laughs> <laughs> so are your lights cranked all the way up yet or what percent are no, you running? They're not all the way up. Um crank let me go and crank them. Well, yeah. I don't no, I I'm going slow. I don't wanna like get algae. <laughs> I'm just joking. Like, are you... I know, I know. <laughs> I, just, I, I know. did a four week ramp with mine. I'm not sure if he's peed lately. <laughs> I wouldn't get him too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's, I just, I'll get there. I'm just, um, I just, uh, I just did, that was my, my vision was a mixed reef. Um, you know, it's currently not exactly as mixed as I thought it would be at this point, but it's okay because, you know, it's only a year in, I got plenty of time. Um, That's when I started <laughs> adding SPS, it was a year. I waited yeah. a year. Yeah, I just just at the time, you know, where I'm ready to, uh, you know, I'll be able to grow them. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a bigger tank. It that's, looks like the coral is ready to just go berserk. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. the AI blade is probably one of the better ones. What's that? Someone Muffler? said something about. Somebody talking about an AI blade or something. I don't know what. Yeah, happened. that's what I thought. I heard a blade. I think my. <laughs> <laughs> moving on <laughs> I, I think it's is it kevin yeah sorry about that i must have hit the wrong button i'm trying to sell lights right now <laughs> oh. i apologize <laughs> sell 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 uh, <laughs> so um yeah so so as far as um one of my my next plans also so obviously we touched on the the roller the fleece roller so that's that's immediate that's like next week um, Wait, is this is this next plan? This is for moving on yes. and the agenda. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. I might have I might have jumped around. I might have jumped no, around. I'm good. But... I'm back. On, I'm back. On, on. Let me... We're on number seven okay. of eight, Jim. So this is okay. Seven. Okay, <laughs> seven of eight. Can you <laughs> send me that on? agenda next time, Ron? Yes, I can. Can you just future, send me that agenda? Future okay, plan upgrades and other systems. <laughs> yeah. And how are we on thanks. time? How yeah. are we on time? We are a little over. Okay, sorry, I'm slowing it down. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll, I'll wrap this up quick. Um, well, you never quick, with, but I will. Brian. <laughs> I just, I love how much Jim commits to a role. Like you are a true method actor, man. <laughs> did you say Jim or did you say Carl's mom? I am not Carl's <laughs> mom. Who the fuck is Carl's mom? We know it's you, Jim. Don't even, <laughs> don't even, bro. We know it's you. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Beth. No, it's fine. It's fine. Other it's future fine. plans for We're wearing her yes. down. Wearing trying... her down. No, I'm just trying to breathe. I'm just trying to breathe. That's all. <laughs> Breathing is overrated. Who needs it anyways? I let me, let me take. A, I, let me take a drink. Hold on. Okay. So, um, so future plans, obviously the reef mat is, uh, uh, next week, but that's immediate. So I do, however, um, I've been looking at some different lights. Um, as much as I like these lights, I found some lights that I like a whole lot better. Um, so I watched the whole, uh, BRS had this, um, 
big video comparisons on lights. And um, so the, I believe they're called the ATI Stratus. <clears throat> oh, juicy. Oh, yeah. good Lord. Very so nice those are, those are both, I'm going to whisper this because my, just in case my husband's within earshot, but that, that's going to be a, that's on my, high on my list. Have those, you, those lights. have you looked at the refi Unos at all? I haven't. I haven't. Are they, are they like, are they similar or what's. They're a third the cost, but better output. Yeah. Yeah, they're a smaller panel. They're um, much more economical. Um, yeah. But yeah, Stratton's are awesome. Yeah. But if you like the Stratton, you could also look at the Coral Care uh, from Philips. I, I noticed. I did. Uh, yep. I did hear a little bit about. I haven't done a whole lot of research on them. I, I just briefly kind of, you know, glanced at them, but it was I saw hard they to were look away Coral from the ATIs. Outlet. You say that again? the the um fill up, the coral care gen 2 whatever i yeah. saw a bunch of them on the uh coral view outlet oh oh okay so. oh that's okay all right well maybe i'll look i'll look at that and see so and then obviously the uh the auto water changes is another um so those... your light Beth, is, see that real is that real locked to having the lights orientated that way because um, I, I have the hanging kit from DD from years ago, and I've only uh -huh. it's the fifty two HD, so it's the model before that, and yeah. they're only able to mount in that orientation. But my tank being seven foot long, it right. would make so much more sense if they were flipped round the other way. But are you able to do that? I am able to do that. I just have to take. I just have to loosen some stuff, and then I can um, re. I just have to kind of accommodate for the cable. Um, you know, uh, yeah. I need. Yeah. I'll need a little more core. But yeah, I can switch them around. And that was actually a debate between uh, my husband and I. And I'm like, uh, do we should we do it this way with the rails or against? I mean, the, so we essentially decided see. this way. On the wall behind your tank, you can actually see that the spread of the lights is absolutely perfect the way it is, actually. Yeah. The overlap, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. And, you know, it's, um, so like the braces, I, I do have these. These are kind of annoying. Um, you know, again, that's one of those things, <clears> like, what I have gotten, I like the, the rimless, um, but I, I, I don't know. Um, it was... At the time when we were deciding to do it, I think the rimless was like, I don't know, fifteen hundred dollars more to go you know, with a rimless. With so if you without sorry. a center brace, you're still going to need two lights. So no, to me, right. the center brace is kind of a non-issue because you're going to have that light on each side, kind of covering it anyway. So yeah, yeah. I just feel like I guess sometimes, like when I'm sitting, I can I can see it. I can see the, you know, the darkness um, yeah. is, is all that is that, but so like I said, you, that's very minor. If you're looking to get new lights yeah, on the, on the down low and yeah. <laughs> you, I'm like you, like, I can't stand light spill. Like yeah, it get, I get migraines. So that okay. light spill drives me bonkers. So I have a yeah. hood. Yeah. Um, if you're getting new lights and you're looking for a way to cover them, I would yeah. check out what Russ did. Cause if I ever did another hood, I would do what he did. It's like a floating hood. Oh, that, okay. It's really cool. And if your husband is good with woodworking, he could make something. He's if really, you're getting he's new really, lights. He's really good with wood. Yeah. No, and if you need just, new lights and you I'm want. Just, uh, I'm better. No. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just I would just recommend yeah. looking at it. It's yeah. really cool. Where so where would I find that? You said who so Russ? We we have um we have Taters. our own um oh tank, okay tank tour on YouTube. So if you go into the Reefy as fuck um YouTube channel, all of the yes. previous tours are on there. And I'm not just saying this; some of the people's tanks on this Discord are unbelievable. You will yeah. see people with far more letters after their name with infinitely worse tanks some of the tanks on here are absolutely incredible oh huh. all right all right i did go in and watch a couple previous prior to today just to see what i was up against um and you still turned up <laughs> i did i did <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Well, um, did we cover everything? Yeah, I think eight. so. so um, I thought we jumped from seven and skipped eight. No, yeah, no, number eight is still here. So biggest win and biggest fail. No pressure. If oh. You oh, oh, okay. Okay. So biggest, biggest win. Definitely. Definitely. I think I would have to go with the lights. N not turning my lights on was the best thing I could have ever probably done for myself. Okay, so not having to start out to begin with. Yeah. Okay. Um, biggest fail. Biggest fail. I think about that one for just a second. Um, not having four dogs. Well, I did. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, but that's fish. That's not fish related though. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the fish tank. Let's talk about dogs. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I oh man, I would have. We took a third of the litter. I would have taken all of wow. them. There was nine in the litter, and we took three. <laughs> I would have taken them all. I would have. Um, to be fair, we almost took two. You what? We almost, almost took, took two. two. Yeah. 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 Um. Gosh. Biggest fail. Oh man. Biggest fail. Biggest fail. If you can't think, hmm. of it, that's fine. I can't that really think of one at the successful. moment. <laughs> well done. You don't have a, a huge fail. Like you're doing pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I don't feel like I do. Um, Has anything equipment wise or anything like that let you down as opposed to you having a fail? No, I don't think so. Oh, that's because that's you go to good shops. Yeah. What a yes. boring. What a boring answer. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, Zach, you help me out then because I know, I know, I, uh, I know, I bitch and cry to you a lot. So, can you think of it? Maybe you can think of something that I'm not. No, I'm just fucking with you. I, don't I know, know you are. If, I know people, you are. if you don't have one, uh, you no, don't have I know. one. Well, but yeah, if I don't have one, you guys aren't fucking getting one, right? I mean, it's as All simple right. as that. Um, yeah. if, if you, you know, think of I, one, you can you can come back later. I gotta. I'm gonna look on under here just because it might it might jog my memory. Um. Well, I mean, I guess the biggest fail at this point that I can think of is the. You know, I'm gonna solve that next week. So <laughs> the reef, the 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 police roller. But no, I I can't say that I have a. Did you when you when when you went to the UV sterilizer because you said it had popped up? Did you lose any fish, or you were able to to bring them all back to Let health? Me think here. I I'm trying to think. I don't believe I lost any fish to egg not i mean not like obvious you know yeah. i lost a couple small fish here or there but it wasn't really obvious it was just a guess a guessing game at that point like um you know it wasn't like the things were just loaded now in my in my 90 i had that i did have that happen but i didn't have a sterilizer on the 90 so um yeah no i, I came up with the biggest fail You'll you'll like this one, Ron. So when we <laughs> lay the rug down, look, look at the gap. Drives oh me crazy. God, See, why did you have to show me that? The... Well, like, because I have to look at it every day. No, is that like <laughs> twenty and, and millimeters? So like our All couches, right, I'm our couches leave after are that. on. <laughs> our couches are on the rug, so it's not just easy to just like. Right, well, you're you know, gonna have to get a Stanley knife and cut the rug. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> maybe, maybe your husband could knit a strip to go in there. No, because our dogs will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> our dogs will eat it. I promise you. I mean, look, they like they like to eat their bed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, that looks like a fucking mattress. What that, kind of is? Biggest bronze house. I <laughs> <laughs> that's bigger than your kitchen isn't it ron oh, if i put that geez. in my kitchen it would be a padded room yeah there you go <laughs> hey then you could get really wild in there yeah. <laughs> nobody would get injured it's pretty soft i lay on it with the dogs all the time um <clears throat> anyway anyway so i just want to say that um 
your system is absolutely incredible. I think you're doing an amazing job. And I just want to, I just want to say for the record, see having your sump so well laid out. Now I know a lot of people are like, Oh, everything has to color match. No, never mind the color matching. If everything is really well organized, it makes troubleshooting all the easier and quicker. Yes. Yes. Um, are nice I, and tidy, you find fuck ups really nice and quick. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, it's it has helped being able to to get in there. I did run out of room pretty damn fast, but uh, you know, I I still feel like I have I have ample room to you know to work in there to get in there. It's you know, it does make it easier. So here's the question for you. You're you're talking about upgrading your lights, therefore you're going to have yeah. three lights doing nothing. So yeah, you know what's going to happen? Another tank. <laughs> Need another tank. Got to have, yeah, have another tank. I know. Tank. I um, I've already brought that up. I, I get the cold <laughs> shoulder for about sixteen days. <laughs> no, he says no, no, not not until this one's gone. But an automatic water change would simplify things and make it a little bit easier. Just well, not a, not not um, no, not enough. <laughs> not easy enough. <laughs> Damn it, should have put the tank down in line with the rug to begin with. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, our original plan for the, what was supposed to be for this tank was, so when when we went downstairs, the, the wall um, was, we were going to have a much bigger one built into the wall. Um, but we just don't spend enough time down there to justify putting that kind of a tank down down there. So, you know, this one gets all the attention. It's, you know, first thing you see when you come in our front door, you know, it's in our living room. So it, it, I spend all, all of the time on this tank. Whereas I think if that a tank was downstairs, I just don't know that I would, it would end up looking like a swamp. I totally agree. I've, um, every tank I've owned until now has been mm -hmm. in a room or in a place that I am never sitting and have a chance to appreciate. And it yeah. just wasted it. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we literally sit here on Sunday nights and watch football on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, we've got the tank. I mean, well, I absolutely. love it. I think your system's amazing. I think thanks. you're doing things is amazing. Yeah. Your attention to detail. Um, well done. Mm -hmm. If it, yeah. does anyone have any other questions for Beth before we wrap up that that is nearly hitting two hours, by the way. Oh, wow. Well, that went by fast. <laughs> That's a, you you have a fantastic you. tank. Your system is fantastic. Uh, quick you question. So do, I appreciate do, you, that. do you ever use carbon? Nope. Nope. I've not, not yet. I have not had to use um, carbon in this tank. I used to use in the 90, I used to um, put uh, Chemi Pure. Um, uh, what was it? The Chemi Pure Blue. I used to stick that down in the filter sock chamber. Um, but I have not put a single ounce of carbon in this tank yet. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very clean. Yeah. Yep. So um, I am looking forward to seeing what, you know, if any changes that are, are noticeable changes once I start using the reef, the reef mat. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, definitely going to reduce your nutrients i'll tell you that right now so i would keep an eye on your phosphates in particular yeah right really, right yeah really carefully because yeah yeah it strips stuff out yeah yeah all right good to know i'll i'll keep an eye on that i'll i'll get into the habit of testing my phosphates on a regular basis for a while get your fucking briefcase out <laughs> i know i know right i know i know i guess <laughs> just going to the office <laughs> right right <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> My agendas. Well, if yeah. anyone, if anyone uh, has any other questions, go for it. But if not, we'll we'll wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. I think I think that's all right. It. I guess thank I answered you so much, questions. Beth. Um, yeah, I'll, thank um, you for having me. It was amazing. I had a lot of fun. I think there's very little editing to be done as well, so that that's made my life a lot easier. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can just get it all out now, Jason. I'll just cut the end off. Uh, no, that's not that's not it. That's I like when you have to spend like a day editing. <laughs> you, I think it's fantastic. you even do tank tours. It's you the same thing. It's the same. <laughs>
Right. That's I guess awesome. Mark Fees is not the same. Do you want me to like the scream same. fuck for like you know twenty five more times right at the end, or is that just not? <laughs> yeah, that could be that could be our outtake. There you go. <laughs> I've never I've never had a woman offer to shout fuck twenty five <laughs> times. <laughs> never. Did you, see, did you say scream? <laughs> well, eh, no, I didn't. But <laughs> right. You Thank know. you so much, Beth. This has been yes. amazing fun. <laughs> yes, thanks. Have, thanks, have a good everybody. one. Yes. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>